today it's time for another unboxing and usually it's fishing related but today I just got my new camcorder from Canon and so we're gonna open that up right now and see what we have inside every year they come out with new models right now I'm using a Canon Vixia M50 camera that's what I'm filming with right now and uh, opening this one up of course your invoice always have that uh, well packed as usual and one thing that's really cool right now it's free shipping and it's overnight shipping too so the day I ordered it they shipped it out the next day and I received received it the day after so got all the packaging out here and here she is a Vixia HF R700 now they have three different models for this and for me, I'm all about saving some money. This one was $299.99, free overnight shipping. Uh, they have some other models that have built-in memory, but I prefer just to get the uh, SD cards. I'd rather put my money into SD cards because you, you can use them from camera to camera. Whereas this here, if you get the next model, it goes $100, then $200 up from there. And I think it's only... I have to look at, don't get me wrong, I think it's like 32 and then 64 gigabyte, which really you can get a 64 gigabyte card for like $30 nowadays on sale. So uh, some of the features on this one compared to my other camera, it's a 50 times advanced zoom. My other one, that is one feature that is always disappointing, is the zoom factor on it. There's so many things far away I wanted to you know, capture on video but it just wouldn't zoom in good enough and also not clear enough uh, this is a full HD camera and you can actually shoot 60 frames per second up to 60 frames which is one thing I really wanted uh, for filming it just looks that much better uh, one thing that's to note they have the larger battery size now uh, I think is the I forget what model these are I think this is 727 let me pop it out here real quick yeah the higher capacity yeah this is the 727 and uh, these cost a good amount of money like $130 just for the battery you can buy knockoff ones which I usually do but they don't perform as well as the name brand my previous camera which you're watching from right now is a 717 I believe it is it's about half the size so nice little upgrade there a uh, charger, the usual stuff. And uh, the camera's wrapped up here. Let me take this out. And uh, it's actually smaller than my other one. So that's nice. Always uh, Smaller is always better when it comes to cameras. MP4 you can record. That's one thing too. You can record right to MP4. Uh, 35 megabytes per second it says on here. Uh, the... The only thing that's different about this compared to the previous model, not the M50, but the ones in between, is the megabyte is less. Um, for whatever reason, like if you needed to pull a still photo or take a still shot, the megabyte is less. It's only like 3.5 something, which uh, is kind of surprised by that. You think in the, today's technology, you'd be able to get a good uh, picture from a camcorder, but for whatever reason, they decreased it. The other one was over 10, I believe. So, not that I have another camera for my photos, but still, if you'd like to take a still shot, you think they'd have that option on here. Um, trying to think what else. Just uh, initial thoughts. It's smaller, so lighter is always better, too, when it comes to carrying your gear around. And this is what I'll be filming with on my channel from here on out. I still have some stuff to upload from my old camera, but if you look down in the down below where you can change the settings, as soon as you see 1080p, 60p, and it'll say 60 after that, you'll know I'm recording in the 60 frame per second, which I feel just looks a little bit more natural. And uh, you have the HD CMOS sensor in here, which is, uh, if you have a DSLR, the CMOS sensors are in those. Uh, obviously, obviously, the DSLR cameras are much more advanced than this one here. And the other factor, too, I really like is the image stabilization so if you record like this or this or off angle a little bit it's still gonna look like I'm recording you know directly at you so that way if you're just a little shaky these cameras are awesome for that like you know you're holding it up you're just a little you know shake to your hand or whatever and it's gonna take a nice clear photo without that shake 
And like I said, if you're off balance like this, or trying to film and you're just off a little, it kind of corrects it for you. That way if you, you know, twist or, or whatnot. So that's kind of nice. That way if you're recording on a, you know, let's say you're on the side of a hill and you go off balance, it's still going to come through uh, straight and true. So uh, initial thoughts, really nice. Uh, two ninety nine, dollars price is right for what you get. Uh, it's always nice when t technology advances and the price comes down. This is just a consumer camera. And I'm probably going to do another video on this once I actually use it and go through all the features. That way I can talk you through what was different about my M50 compared to this one, which is the R700. So thanks for watching this unboxing video of the Canon camera. And uh, let me just put have this closer to the camera so you can see just how big this camera is. I mean, you can see the size of my hand here. You know, the camera, very small. And, uh, nice. Again, you have your flip-out screen here. Twist the whole way around. Um, you can twist it around and show it on the side like that. One feature I love to do is how I'm using it for my camera right now. While I'm filming, all I do... Normally it's like that, I flip it around, that way I can watch myself on the camera, make sure I'm in frame just like that, see how it just made my head go down. Flip it around, that way if you're self-recording. This is great for especially like YouTube videos if you don't have somebody to help you out. Flip it around. Uh, I can tell right now, I like this. The other, the last one, it always felt more flimsy, like when you pull out that screen and flip it. This one here is a lot more solid, so I like that. Definitely one thing that I was always nervous about with my other one. The screen's big enough. I didn't plug it in yet, so once I can actually you know, look at the screen and everything, I'll let you know. But, uh, oh, okay, it's 32 optical zoom up to 57. So still, that's a really long ways off. But uh, the Canon camcorder. Hope you enjoyed the quick unboxing video, brief overview of the uh, camcorder. And I'll have plenty more reviews on this coming up as I get to use it and try it out. Thanks for watching. Thank you again for watching another one of my videos. You'll see two videos below showing you how to make corn on the left and oats pack bait on the right. If you enjoyed this video, there's plenty more on my channel. Please hit subscribe on the right side of the screen. And anytime a new video comes out, you'll be the first to see it.